Sky News has learnt four Labor MPs who attended Black Lives Matter protests at the weekend will be tested for COVID-19. Let's bring in our political editor, Andrew Clennell. Andrew, all four have now been told they need to leave Parliament. Yeah, Graham Perrett, Ma Graham Perrett, Mallon Deering McCarthy, Warren Snowden, Annika Wells, all told to leave Parliament, all told to get tested, all told uh, by the Labor Party leader uh, to go home essentially and uh, only come back when their tests are in. I understand from sources in Parliament, Ashley, that uh, the Speaker, Tony Smith, uh, contacted uh, the Labor whip with concerns after Graham Perrett appeared on Sky News this morning and said he wasn't being tested. I'm not clear what's happening in the Senate with the President and the Green Senator Janet Rice, but it appears after this contact from the Speaker, uh, the Labor's leadership group has decided it would be prudent, uh, even though none of the MPs are showing symptoms, for them to go and be tested. Let's have a listen to what Graham Perrett said uh, to Peter Stefanovic on Sky News this morning. You're obviously back in Canberra, back in Parliament. Graham, have you had a test? No, no, I, I haven't yet. No, I, I haven't. I've, Do you I feel like you should? I haven't had any symptoms. Well, well <laughs> what I've been told about having tests, uh, I might go and see, talk to Dr Mike Freelander today, but what I've been consistently told is uh, wait until you've either come in contact with people uh, or uh, I've, I've downloaded the, the, the COVID-19 app or, or if you have any symptoms and I haven't had any of those things. Yeah, well, the uh, Green Senator been... Janet Rice, Andrew, uh, due to join us here on the program in about 25 minutes, so we will find out what the Greens' position is on that very shortly. It has become a, quite a row there, Andrew. We've seen some people who, politicians who have recovered from the virus, saying, yeah, they shouldn't be there. This is really serious, and the risk of it spreading throughout Parliament House there and the capital is severe. Yeah, and it's kind of too late, to be honest. I mean, I think it's extremely unlikely any of these MPs would have COVID-19, but they've all been in caucus meetings of various forms over the last couple of days. Indeed, one of them, as you saw, was in one of our Sky studios here, so too bad if they did happen to have COVID-19. I've just been told, Ashley, too, that there's no directive necessarily from Tony Smith, but he did make an inquiry. The Labor leadership then decided it would be appropriate if they go and test and the President, Scott Ryan, in the Senate, he's not issuing any such directive in the Senate of Janet Rice, for example. Andrew Glennell, thank you for the update. We'll see what Janet Rice has to say about her decision to attend that rally in Melbourne last weekend when we speak with her soon. We will, of course, be uh, practising social distancing for that interview as well in case anyone is worried.